divided. We have been assaulted. That's Professor Olga Cox, secretly recorded, lecturing to her Orange Coast college students not on the day's lesson, but Trump's election. It's an act of terrorism. One of the most frightening things for me and most people in my life is that the people committing the assault are among us. The professor's words, spoken in her class on human sexuality and recorded shortly after the election, is now fuel for conservatives, outnumbered on this liberal California campus. We obviously feel that at times we're uh, ignored, our opinions don't really matter. They should not be bullied, they should not be facing, uh, you know, ridicule. The college's Republican club posted the two-minute video from the anonymous student. Fury followed in threatening emails to Professor Cox. We'll put a bullet in your face. People like you will be the first one slaughtered. We support free speech. We support democracy. Students supporting the teacher blame one person. This all happened since Trump. Trump has given young conservatives a powerful voice at typically left-leaning college campuses, say Republican students at the famously liberal University of California, Berkeley. So outnumbered on this campus, Republicans think twice before speaking up. How many of you are reluctant to share your political beliefs on campus? So almost everybody. The Berkeley Republican Club's Trump cutout was eventually left in tatters by vandals. Post-election, they say they face open hostility, and it's only getting worse. Let teachers teach. But many Orange Coast College professors say disagreement is a part of learning. The faculty at Orange Coast College do not believe that students are such fragile beings that they need to be coddled or they need safe spaces where they don't hear the political views that they disagree with. Why didn't that student just talk to the professor and have a free exchange of ideas like classrooms should be? You're completely right, but when the teacher's going in there and not really allowing anybody uh, to have that sort of dialogue, really trying to make it sure that they you know, have a perception that every single person in that room is a liberal, uh, do you really want to stand up in a you know, room full of your peers, close to 200 students? Uh, you know, I, I personally wouldn't. The union that represents Professor Cox says she's so terrified by the death threats that she's moved out of her home and out of the state of California temporarily. This is finals week at the college. The administration says it does not have an answer on whether or not the professor will be returning to the campus next semester. The administration has also begun an investigation into this, speaking with the still unidentified student who recorded the video, as well as the professor.